y'all so for sunday night's dinner i am frying skinless tilapia so i'm gonna do uh two more after this and y'all remember when i purchased this from sam's it was like what a dollar and something if not a dollar and it has like three bags let me see how many bags i got here three 16 ounce bags of uh rice cauliflower black rice and pomegranate glaze and it has sweet potatoes green beans butternut butternut squash and cranberries in there and it looks like this right here so i had purchased like three bags of those honey and i've been eating off of them uh since i don't know when the last time i had some but i just dug this out the deep freezer and opened it up and it got the little three bags in there it look like that. And so I'm going to make some of that to go with the fish. Because mm -hmm, I got all types of little vegetables and goodies in here. So that's going to be the side for the fish, y'all. So that will be tonight's dinner. Okay, I'll see y'all when it's plated up. y'all so for this morning i'm making sliced potatoes i'm gonna fry them up in the frying pan these are from aldi but you can get them from wherever you want to it cuts down the hassle of having to um wash your potatoes off peel your potatoes and then cut your potatoes <laughs> they're already uh peeled and cut okay so it's real convenient and when you're in a hurry so yeah I got my frying in the frying pan right here.
All right, y'all. So I found these chips, these Lay's chips in um, Food Line, and it's they are wavy Cuban sandwich right here, and it says limited time flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and test these out. All right, y'all. So let's see how this how this go right here. All right. That's supposed to taste like a Cuban sandwich. Tastes pretty good. Well, I'm not getting no Cuban uh, sandwich. I'm getting pickle. Again, they look like this right here. That's all I got was pickle. <laughs> I don't taste no Cuban. I just taste pickle. I don't taste no meat. Yeah, I'm just getting pickle, y'all. But if you see these in your food line or Walmart, wherever they might be floating around in your neck of the woods, try them out. Let me know what you think, okay? I give them a, out of 10, I'm going to give them a 5 because all I, all I taste is pickle, y'all. <laughs> So I decided to do a little quick DIY with this wreath that has been hanging here forever. I purchased this little decor piece right here. I can't remember from where, but it says grateful. And it has like these little hooks to hang it up. So I'm going to use these bread ties that I have right here. I didn't feel like going to find anything out my craft box. These were on hand. I'm going to use the little bread ties and put in the little hooks. And I am going to just attach it to my wreath y'all i just wanted to dress up my wreath like i said it's been hanging here forever and it looked kind of plain i believe it came from the goodwill um a year ago maybe a little bit longer and so yeah just wanted to uh dress it up a little bit and you can do that if you have like an old wreath at home and you want to dress it up you can go get something inexpensive from the goodwill or from another um store and just attach it to your wreath and this is the outcome of it right here. I thought it looks really, really nice. And yeah, it was quick and easy, y'all. Mm -hmm. So that's my little DIY for today. See y'all momentarily. All right, everyone. So I decided to cook uh, scrambled eggs and sausage and peppers and biscuits this morning, which is Friday. Something easy and simple. Got my little pack of honey. I like to save these because they come in handy when I want to add something extra to a meal and also to put in my purse when I go out if I want something extra on a meal as well, honey. So always save your little condiment packets, honey. You can always reuse them for something else. So yeah, y'all, that's breakfast. All right, y'all. So I'm not showing my face because... It's early morning, and I'm in my little element right now. And so, yeah, I'm not put together. But anywho, I'm back in my closet. <laughs> Y'all, this is like one of my places that I love to come and just chill out and 
rearrange things. So, y'all remember I had all the boxes. I think that's where we left off last time. I had the boxes over here, okay? So, now, I just decided to put, like, some of my Bath and Body Works and um, other little different sprays and lotions up here on top, okay? Reason being is because they be way at the bottom in different little containers, and I don't be paying them no attention. So, I'm putting them up here at the top, so that way I can start using them. And like I said, this is some of them. Um, and these have came from Bath and Body Works, uh, Victoria's Secret, Pink, um, Yard Sales, Goodwills, um, you name it. They've come from more than just the, um, actual stores, okay? And so, yes, I gotta start using my stuff. So, I just decided to go ahead and just make this the little spray and lotion, uh, area. I do have, a uh, shower gel here and there, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I decided to do with this. And like my other little boxes, let me show y'all. So, what I'm doing over here is, here's another little box. I t I'm taking out all my candles that I have, and I'm arranging them so I know what I have. And so, I'll be able to see them. And when I'm ready to use one, I can um, go ahead and pick from my stash. Because they were still in, like, the little candle holder things that they give you, them, those little cardboard things. And it was taking up too much space. So, that's what I'm doing on, like, these little tiny shelves. I'm putting uh, little boxes and stacking my candles on top. There's nothing really in the boxes anymore. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm basically doing. Okay? And then over here, I'm also working on my clothes section. This is one of my little areas. So, I've been taking down... Oh, what am I stepping on? Oh, not my shade. Oh, okay. So, I've been taking down, like, a lot of clothes that I haven't worn in years because I've fluctuated in size. Like, from um, after I had my last child, I, I dropped tremendously. I was, like, a hundred and... What what I go down to? 180, I want to say 190. And then I got scared. <laughs> and this is a true story. I got scared because I did have um issues with my last pregnancy. So I got scared when I lost all that weight, y'all. And, and my crazy self started eating because I thought something was wrong. So I started eating. And then, <laughs> needless to say... <laughs> I shot back up, but yeah, that was, that was, um, mm, yeah, that was something. And, um, so I still had like small things in here. I mean, different sizes. So what I'm in now is, is like a large to an extra large. If I buy an extra large, it's because I want my babies to breathe. Okay. You, you, ah, y'all always hear me talking about, gotta let the babies breathe. And so that's why I buy the extra large for that purpose only. Um, but yeah, um, I'm getting rid of a lot of clothes and I'm trying to color coordinate. I ain't got that yet, but I'm trying to color coordinate some things and I still got like clothes um that I haven't put up yet. I still got clothes hanging on my extra clothes rack that's sitting outside of the closet and I gotta go through those as well and see these are the hangers. Wait a minute. These are the hangers off of the clothes that I just put over there in the corner, y'all. So, I'm trying to get this closet on my side together, okay? But I still got, like, some areas and things um, to do. And, yeah. But, and I still got, like, the bottom. I ain't even gonna show you the bottom. <laughs> I mean, for the most part, I got them in, like, totes and things. But I have, like, purses and backpacks and, um stuff let me see if i can show you all what it's looking like let me hide some stuff because i got information and pictures and stuff down here okay so this is what the bottom is consisting of right here so what i want to do with this section down here is get like one of those plastic um storage containers that have like the drawers the the wide ones and put here Okay, that's what I want to do in this section. But for the most part, I got my things in like containers, but it's just spilling over because it's a lot of things. So I'm working on the bottom as well. 
y'all it's a job honey it really is because when you have a little bit too much stuff and it's like it is um sentimental every time you might pick up say for instance i picked this up right here and you know i need to put it in the goodwill but then i'll be like well this is what me and son son use to play our little air hockey with and so i'm gonna hold on to that a little bit long you know like that okay that's why i never get anywhere because everything is sentimental and everything you know i feel like it has a purpose and so that's why it looking like the way it's looking right now okay so i'm trying to be um diligent in getting a lot of this stuff organized a little bit better than what it is and giving away i might put some in the yard there because i like to do those too and make a little bit of money and yeah y'all and so i just wanted to keep you updated on what's going on with my closet and then this right here you know this is the phone board i cut it you know cut it high just to put it up here because this kind of irritating this right here but i noticed a, a lot of people has this in their closet and like in their kitchen in their pantry so i said maybe it was the end thing when that lady put it in here child I, yeah, it's in now but i prefer like um smooth flat surfaces with none of this but i'm thankful for what i have okay until i can you know kind of maneuver and do a little bit better so yeah it's gonna be okay all right y'all um if i get this done i know i ain't gonna get this done right now but i have to come back in another video and show you all what's going on see like this coach like i have like older coach purses that i'm either gonna wash and pass down uh or i'm going to put in a yard sale one or two because i don't carry those no more and they have like a lot of um memory things in there when i was carrying them when my children was young and papers and things and so yeah y'all let me get off here because i'm I, I need to finish getting this together because yeah i said i want to be done by 12 <sighs> let me see what time it is it ain't looking like 12 it's 11 on one honey ain't gonna happen ain't gonna happen because you hadn't even seen the bed <laughs> Lord Jesus, yeah, ain't gonna happen today, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead in this video out right here. Um, hopefully I'll come back, not come back today, but you know, in the next video, and show you all because I'm trying to make progress. I want everything to be organized because it's starting to frazzle me. And yeah, all right, y'all. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Thank y'all so much for watching and supporting my channel. Appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the Brown Eyes family. I would love to have you. All right, y'all. Y'all pray for me. Okay. See you next vlog.